Hey, what's going on everyone? BowHD here. I hope you guys are doing well. It's Nexus season, and in Nexus season, we can expect fresh new Nexus devices. Now, I already went over several leaked features of the LG Nexus 5X, which if you guys want to watch, you can click the little eye right above your screen here, and you can watch that video. But I'm back, and I want to talk about about 18 leaked features of the other Nexus device, the Huawei Nexus 6P smartphone here on PhoneDog.com. So the Huawei Nexus device is officially going to be called the Huawei Nexus 6P. Uh, just over the past few days, the official packaging of both the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P were leaked. The most recent leak actually gives us an official press render of the back and front of the device, which reveals a lot of juicy info. So the Huawei Nexus 6P looks to be the flagship Nexus device of 2015, simply because it's gonna feature the more Beatsly specs than the LG Nexus 5X. But the difference won't be night and day. In fact, the major difference between the LG Nexus 5X and the Huawei Nexus 6P is going to be with the size of the device. The Huawei Nexus will be geared towards those who like large displays, uh, the, the display will be big enough where it's going to pretty much require two hands on average to use, whereas the LG Nexus 5X is going to be a little smaller. It's going to feature a smaller display, which should be able to be operated with one hand. The Huawei 6P is going to feature a 5.7 inch 2560 by 1440 resolution QHD display, and it'll be powered by a Snapdragon 810 octa-core processor with 3GB of RAM and an Adreno 430 GPU. There was actually a leaked Geekbench benchmark of the Huawei Nexus, which showed it receiving a single core score near 1200 and a multi-core score near 3600. So not bad scores. Uh, the scores aren't exceptional, but it's gonna be a pretty fast device. Now the base model will feature 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, but you should be able to upgrade to 64 gigabytes of onboard storage for I would say an additional $50 and you will also be able to upgrade to 128 gigabytes of storage. That means that the Huawei Nexus 6P will actually be the very first Nexus device to feature 128 gigabytes of onboard storage natively, or at least be the first Nexus to offer that kind of storage configuration, which is kind of cool, but it also makes me think that it won't feature a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. Uh, there's no leaked info about the micro SD card slot as far as I know, uh, but with the 128 gigabyte storage option, the SD card option probably won't be an option. The 6P will also include a USB Type-C connector port on the bottom of the device used for charging, and there will also be a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera sensor and an 8 megapixel front-facing camera sensor on the device, and the rear-facing camera sensor will protrude from the camera or will protrude from the smartphone on the back of the device. Uh, along the top. I'm hoping it doesn't look horrible in person because the idea and the way it looks in some of the leaked images makes me kind of question the appearance, but that is subjective and we can really only wait and see. We can expect the Huawei Nexus to feature a metal unibody chassis to measure in between 6.6 and 8.5 millimeters in thickness with the camera hump, of course. Underneath the camera sensor, we will find a fingerprint scanner, which will work just by placing your finger on the scanner just like so, and it will unlock the device. Um, it'll look just like the blue Peer XL. Uh, it'll also look just like the Huawei Mate S, which Marco recently unboxed here on Phone Dive. You guys should check that out. What's a bit strange is that in addition to some of the standard sensors that will be inside the device, like the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the pedometer, is that there is reportedly a barometer inside the device so we might see some apps take advantage of its atmospheric pressure measurements. With that said, it'll feature stock Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box, it'll feature NFC, Bluetooth 4.2, Android Pay support, and it will feature dual front-facing stereo speakers. Huge thumbs up for that. The battery will also be massive. It's reported that it'll feature a 3500 milliamp battery, which should help it keep a charge uh, for a full day with moderate to heavy usage. Although with the Snapdragon 810 processor, you never know. I kind of wish it featured an 808 processor, but uh, we'll see. At least on paper, the 3500 milliamp battery should make it last a full day. So while the LG Nexus 5X is expected to be priced at around $400, the Huawei Nexus 6P is expected to be priced at around $500, depending on which storage options you go with. With that said, that is about 18 leaked features of the upcoming Huawei Nexus 6P. 
Uh, once again, these are all based off leaks and rumors, so nothing in this video is official just yet. We will officially know of all the specs and all the features of the LG and the Huawei Nexus devices on September 28th in San Francisco from an event that Google is hosting. So stay tuned for that. That is right around the corner. I wanted to get this video up now so we can kind of build up the hype and kind of get the discussion flowing about these devices because I'm really excited. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know which Nexus device you are most excited for by leaving me a comment down below. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDag.com. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya. Oh, also, bonus clip. Check out this Huawei watch. It should complement the Nexus 6P very nicely. I like it. See you guys.